Hey guys, what's up? It's the guy with the book and welcome back to my channel where I ask about the books you're reading and talk about the ones that I'm reading. And today I'm going to talk about three books that have made me cry. Yes, a fully grown man with a graying beard. These are books that I have loved in the last three or four years. And these are books that are very close to me. So the first book I want to talk about is A Fine Balance. It's by Rohindran Misri. He is an Indian Canadian, I believe. It's a 600 page book, but it's quite dense. You might see from the text, if you can focus on this one, Mr. Camera. So this is a book I read maybe in around 10 days or two weeks. Uh, it's a story about four characters who somehow cross paths. The emergency brings all four of them together and it tells the tale of what happens with each of these characters over time throughout the emergency. If you haven't read much about India or Indian history, especially Indian recent history, you might want to pick this book up. Rohintan Mystery has portrayed a lot of things that you might not find in a lot of books. It's written in a very unfiltered way. He talks about poverty, he talks about the corruption in India, and he talks how the poor people in India suffer the most when things like the emergency takes place. I really hope you pick this up. I was not expecting to be moved this much by this book. In fact, around 550 pages, almost till the last 25 or 30 pages, things were fine. I was okay with the book and with the story. I already know a lot about India. But in the end, something happens and it was extremely sudden. And uh, I'll read out the summary of A Fine Balance by Rohintan Mystery so that you guys have an idea of what the book is about. Set in the mid-1970s in India, A Fine Balance tells the story of four unlikely people whose lives come together during a time of political turmoil soon after the government declares a state of internal emergency. Through days of bleakness and hope, their circumstances and their fates become inextricably linked in ways no one could have foreseen. Written with compassion, humor, and insight, A Fine Balance is a vivid, richly textured, and powerful novel by one of the most gifted writers of our time. This definitely is a recommendation from my side to you guys. If you're looking for something a bit bigger than usual, but very detailed and very densely written. It is a book that's really close to my heart and I got really emotionally involved with the book as well. The second book I want to talk about is actually A Thousand Splendid Sons. I don't have a copy of A Thousand Splendid Sons, but I do have a copy of Kaidrana, so I thought I'll just have something to hold in my hand while I take the video. So I'll read the summary for A Thousand Splendid Sons for you. A Thousand Splendid Sons is a breathtaking story set against the volatile events of Afghanistan's last 30 years. From the Soviet invasion to the reign of the Taliban to post-Taliban rebuilding that puts the violence, fear, hope and faith of this country in intimate human terms. It is a tale of two generations of characters brought jarringly together by the tragic sweep of war with personal lives, the struggle to survive, raise a family, find happiness are inextricable from the history playing out around them. Propelled by the same storytelling instinct that made The Kite Runner a beloved classic, A Thousand Splendid Sons is at once a remarkable chronicle of three decades of Afghan history and a deeply moving account of family and friendship. It is a striking, heart-wrenching novel of an unforgiving time, an unlikely friendship and an indestructible love a stunning accomplishment. I read A Thousand Splendid Sons a long time ago, I think maybe three years ago. So I don't remember the details, but I do remember feeling almost broken when I was reading it. And it's a book I recommend to everyone, irrespective of the type of books they like. Even if you're someone who likes fantasy or someone who likes only magic realism, it's a book I would recommend to you. I want you to read this if you've not read this yet. I want every single person watching this video to read this. It's a book that will help you be more sympathetic towards people, especially people who are immigrants, who are refugees, people who are coming from war-torn countries, people who have seen things they probably are not even able to describe and they wouldn't even want to recall. 
What I want to say about Khalid Husseini as a writer, as an author is he first and foremost is an amazing storyteller. When you are reading a Khalid Husseini, be it The Kite Runner or A Thousand Splendid Sons or even Mountains Echoed, you will get involved in the story. You will have a lot of empathy, a lot of sympathy for uh, characters and you will feel that He's talking about something that is important. So I do hope you read this. And if you are someone who's already read A Thousand Splendid Sons, I would love to discuss the book. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. And I'm going to give you the third book that's made me cry. And this book made me cry while I was at a cafe in public. And I just couldn't stop. It's The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. It's an amazing book. I believe there is a live action movie as well. I actually forgot about it and just recall now. The Traveling Cat Chronicles is about Nana the cat. And Nana is the most sassy cat as a cat can be. And I absolutely love this book. This book was actually the first book that I ever reread. One of the reasons is that it's not a very long book and it's it might actually take you a couple of days to read the whole thing. Now, I'll, I'll read out the summary for you. It's not the journey that counts, but who is at your side. Nana is on a road trip, but he is not sure where to. All that matters is that he can sit beside his beloved Satoru in the front of his silver van. Satoru is keen to visit three old friends from his youth Though Nana doesn't know why and Satoru won't say. Set against the backdrop of Japan's changing seasons and narrated with a rare gentleness and striking humor, Nana's story explores the wonder and thrill of life's unexpected detours. It is about friendship, solitude and knowing when to give and when to take. Above all, it shows how acts of love, both great and small, can transform our lives. I don't even want to say much about this book because there is something that's happening in the book that is going to be a huge spoiler and I just want you to dive into this book. Just read it if you like cats first. Second, it's a human story told through the eyes of a cat. I have not seen a better human story that doesn't center around humans. This is about Nana and I'm pretty sure Nana is going to become your favorite cat. So these were the three books that made me cry and I hope you guys read it too. A Fine Balance by Rohintan Misri, A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khalid Husseini and The Traveling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arikawa. So I want to quickly update you about what I'm reading. I'm reading The Parisian and I believe I am almost done. I am exactly 95 pages from the end and I hope to finish it maybe by tomorrow. I'm going to leave links in the description. These will be links to Book Depository and if you use Book Depository, do use one of the links. Also let me know if you're actually going to pick any of the three or if you've already read one of the three. I'd love to know. This has been the guide of the book and I hope you enjoyed the video enough to like and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram at the guy with the book. I hope to see you in the next one. Happy reading. Set in the mid 1970s in India, a fine balance tells the story of. A place where I ask about the books. Hey guys, what's up? It's the guy with the book, and welcome back to my channel, a place where I talk about the books I'm reading. Uh... Hey guys, what's up? It's the guy with the book.